Yeah, Culver? Take a look at this. It's like a room full of cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a room full of pentagrams to me. <laughs> <laughs> One and the same in our world. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going to introduce myself. Kit Culver, Special Agent, FBI. I'm Special Agent Elena Bailey, FBI. In order to get our story started, we have a suggestion of something that has never scared you. Tube socks. Tube socks? <laughs> Great. Ferris wheels. Ferris wheels? Ferris wheels. Ferris wheels. Well, uh, we've actually had socks in the past, so we will take... Believe it or not. Ferris wheels. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, X-Files. Unclassified. One ticket, one ticket, you know the fire slang? There you go, I'll take that one's open front leg. Yes, open that gate first. Careful, it's a little rickety. One ticket. You two together, or you want me yeah. to hold up and wait for another wheel to reel around? No, we're, here? we're together. Okay. We're Right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the uh, Founders Day festival's a little bit dull this year. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You two get in a Ferris wheel ride for once. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. No, we don't mind being, we don't mind being alone. No. So. This lever goes here. Oh, and uh, I'm going to press this button. It's going to go faster than normal just because I like the two of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not too fast. Not too fast. Buckle up. Okay. Okay. Let's get in there at the seatbelt. Yeah, and the power is out. All right. Button being pressed right now. Oh. 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 I, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, it's my first fire Ferris wheel ride. It's your first Ferris wheel ride? Yeah. Well, it's my first uh, fair, uh, it's my first Ferris wheel ride with you, Suzanne, so it's, a, it's like a first for everything. Are you okay? My hands are sweaty. <laughs> They're like really sweaty. But it's okay, if your height is totally normal. I'm, I didn't, I didn't say I'm just afraid, I'm right? assuming. <laughs> Yellow for a second round? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah there sure. you go. Here we go. Oh, oh, I'm not afraid. If I was afraid, I said no. Oh, look, there's a the water tower. <laughs> wow. I feel, like I, feel, I feel like we can see everything from up here. Oh, uh, There's your house. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Uh, wow. And there's... <laughs> Your hand is so sweaty. I know, it's like slipping out. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, are you sure we should probably just ask it? Hey, can we stop? We, I think it's okay. It's okay, look at me. I'm a wild man. Wild man. Let's go on the third one. A little faster. I'm going to press the button. That's okay. Oh. 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 Listen, if you're not comfortable with this, it's not sure. It sure seems like it! Oh my goodness, the water tower is going away! It's all so weird and fuzzy! Oh, I feel like I'm a deep particle arising! Oh, Jack, where are you? Jack! Jack! Oh, Jack! Oh,
Chinese food. And I bought a Jack in the Box. Actually dates back to uh, to uh, 1700s. Do you know that? Punch and June. You ever heard of Punch and June? Punch and June. Tell me about that. Well, they used to have these two characters. Uh, one was violent and one was passive, and one would beat the hell out of the other one, and they'd argue. And Punch and Judy. Well, that's what they became later on. But... <laughs> actually, in the early times, I think it was called Fondo and Endy. <laughs> <laughs> Jack in the Box came out of that. <laughs> From Holland, actually. Holland. Boing. <laughs> Random. <laughs> Something tells me you weren't digging around in that lower drawer for X Files to find a Jack in the Box for no reason. That was not chaos theory. No, it wasn't. Actually, I was looking up this. The very old X-File. Took place in a park in Pennsylvania, actually. Not Holland. No, no, not Holland. Good old U.S. of A. <laughs> three people went missing in a matter of three weeks. And all centering around an amusement park. This one was an amusement park, but more commonly, also known as a harvest festival. Happy Halloween. Scarecrows, jack-o'-lanterns, going up to people's houses, knocking on the door and asking for sweet treats. Common <laughs> <laughs> fall, autumn traditions. <laughs> Did you ever notice that the most amount of festivals take place during the autumn season? Paganism, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, end of year and beginning of new, newness and... You have to go through death through to get to the living. I'm just trying to jump ahead to where I feel like you're going to bring me. Really? I'm starting to think I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> Maybe you are. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is known for its harvest festival, so. It's one of the biggest in the country. Here we are. Oh. How quaint. Very. You know, I always found paganism to be the truth behind so many of our early rituals as men and women. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I Thank you for remembering that we're part of the tradition. <laughs> What 
I was trying to say, Bailey, <laughs> was that if it wasn't for women, we wouldn't have paganism. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that most spiritual leaders in early civilization were women. Agree to disagree or agree? I'm not going back! You can't make me! <laughs> so let's check it out. <laughs> A job's a job. Right now we're here for the Harvest Festival. Next thing you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be back in Minnesota for Valley Fair next year. I know, Lloyd, but listen, this is the last time I set up a bounty castle for you in any of these situations. You know, that young girl, that young girl the other day, I didn't like the looks of her. She came off the bouncy castle. I didn't like it. I well, didn't like it, Lloyd. Some kids, they go in the bouncy castle, they get nauseous. What do you want to do? It wasn't nauseous, Lloyd. And you know it. All right? I'm telling you, after this, I want out of my contract early. Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh. I just... <laughs> Lloyd? Elva? Lou Anne? Have you seen Duke? Nope. No, we haven't seen Duke since this morning. Uh, we're supposed to be loading up the Ferris wheel. He and I are taking off. Yeah. This, 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 look, guys, there's like five days left in this festival. Yeah, Lloyd, there's not enough people at this festival. Have you seen how empty it is? It you get one or two Lloyd. kids in a bouncy castle. Empty. That's true. I'm not making anything on these slushies. Yeah, we need more people. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> get over here. Stop clapping your hands. <laughs> you know how much I hate it when you shove it. I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I think there's still some uh, hot dogs on the warmers down at Old Bill's. You know? <laughs> Duke, how's the hot dog sound? Duke hungry. Duke's been working too hard. You can't press him anymore like this. Listen, Duke and I are in this contract together, and I'm telling you, two weeks and we're done. Duke, did you set up some kind of clause with Elva here? <laughs> Duke, what are you doing? <laughs> Duke, your partner. Duke, no me. Duke? Duke! <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look. These people are with a totally different stand, okay? You know, you don't gotta try to take Duke away from her, too, huh? You are my half brother, and my not mother, and my brother! <laughs> well, I have something to say. I think you need to review those family arrangements real quick. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for a Lloyd. Yeah. Bridges. Lloyd? <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Special Agent Kit Culver with the FBI. Whoa! Come on. Not every day we get FBI agents wanting to get into the bouncy castle. <laughs> oh, we're not here for a bounce on the bouncy castle. Get out. Of course. We're here to ask some questions about the recent disappearances. We Do understand. You know about that? That's right. Um, talking about uh, talking about those lovebirds on the Ferris wheel. Uh, two people missing? Well, I think only one of them by my recollection. You saw it happen? No, but one left and the other didn't. I'm sorry, are you saying that you think one of them actually left the premises rather than disappeared? His parents report that he never came home. That's, that's right. And the other person? Well, she, yeah, she, she, she went home. She had, she was all right. I mean, she was a little shaken up. 
you got the towel around her and everything. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to see the Ferris wheel, please. Sure, it's too come late. on. Ferris wheel's out of here. Here's my resignation for your Harvest Festival. We ain't coming back no more. Terribly sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Go! Get over here! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Duke. Come on, you're slowing me down, Duke. Duke, Duke hungry. I know you're hungry, Duke. You're gonna get a chance to eat. Now get up in the truck. Excuse me. Special Agent Dick Culver. Special Agent Alina, Alina Bailey. I'd like to uh, ask you some what questions. What are you looking at him for, huh? He's banging his head against the car. He needs to be in distress. Duke, no. Duke hungry. I'm going to get you some food. We're going to go by the McDonald's. Get up in there, car. Duke hungry. Duke. How about Duke. we treat you to some McDonald's? Chicken nuggets? Ma, yeah. What? Happy meal? What are you laughing at? Don't take any offense. I'm sorry, I take offense. My brother may be a little slow, but he's a smart boy, and he's a strong boy, and he does his job. I can see that. There was one right over there. <laughs> You're happy meal, Duke. Got you as well. Fine. We'd like to know if you <laughs> know anything about the disappearances lately in this town. The, uh, we heard that someone disappeared off of the Ferris wheel. Sure, someone disappeared off of this Ferris wheel. We hook it up to the back of this 18-wheeler and drive it around town. Now, <laughs> Duke and I were on guard when it happened. We don't know anything past that. Local police already took our statements. I don't know what else you need. We're heading out of town. Heading out of town? Yeah, we got we got business to take care of. We got other festivals that we need to attend. Excuse me, sir. What do you do to my first wheel? Just curious about where all this loose paint came from. It well, it's an old Ferris wheel, okay? We're not whipping out the pockets with wealth here. <laughs> you purchased it. It's a family heirloom, if you will. You've owned it for quite some time. You and your brother have taken the time to run it. Your parents maybe ran it before you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your last name. It was... We're the Cloverfields. <laughs> Duke Cloverfield and I'm May. May Cloverfield and Duke Cloverfield. Middle name Bradbury. Middle name Bradbury. <laughs> we got named the same middle name by our dumb parents. <laughs> Both of your middle names is Bradbury? You heard what he said, didn't you? And your first name is Ray. So I'm guessing your parents were science fiction fans. Duke! Well, there was a... I'm sorry. Is <laughs> <laughs> it May? I think that's what I... Yeah. My name is May. Spelled M-A-E. Well, we don't want to keep you. By all means, you're welcome to meet at your earliest inconvenience. Something wicked this way comes. <laughs> Duke is quite an intelligent brother of mine. He reads a lot. Yeah. Love Shakespeare. May, the castle's set up. Well, I think we should be on our way. On our way. Thank you. May, I'm Duke. Curious. Your next stop. We're in Pennsylvania now, so it only makes sense that we're going to West Virginia. <laughs> Makes complete sense. <laughs> Duke not hungry. Duke happy. Thanks for the half a meal. <laughs> oh, that this ice, ice heart should melt. Duke, you get in the car already? <laughs> <laughs> Janie, what's wrong? Nothing, everything's fine. Janie, you look like you've seen a ghost.
sweetheart, what is it? <clears throat> I, uh... I, aren't you enjoying the festival? Uh, I, I don't know why you brought me back here, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what all the kids want. Why, I asked your no-good father for 20 extra dollars for tickets. I wanted this! <laughs> I wanted this! <laughs> this is what everyone wants. Mom, this is where Jack went away, and I feel like this is really not with respect to my wishes by bringing me here. Janie, I think it's the best thing for you. If there's anything you can do to face fear, it's to return to the fear itself and look it straight in the eye. Look at that Ferris wheel right there. I think you should go on it again. But that's what not the same Ferris wheel, though. What are you talking about? Of course it's the same Ferris wheel, Janie. Don't be ridiculous. Mom, that's not the same Ferris wheel. Janie, the Harvest Festival only ever has one Harvest Festival. And the Harvest Festival <laughs> only ever has one Ferris wheel. One Harvest Festival, one Ferris wheel. Sweetheart, get it together. <laughs> Do you hear that? What? I don't hear anything. You don't hear that? Sounds like screaming. Janie. Janie. Oh my god, Mom, it's Jack! Janie, listen, I it's know that- It's Jack! Janie! I think I can take you home now. But no, Jack is here! He's up there, Mom! He's there, I heard him! Let's go. Everything's fine. My daughter is just hysterical, that's all. <laughs> you must be Janie. Uh, I'm Special Agent. Elena Bailey. And I don't think you partner. need to know anything about my daughter. Oh, we haven't even asked any questions. Well, good then, Janie, let's go. Oh, the mom, the mom! Dude, he got hurt him! Mom. Go! That doesn't seem suspect at all. Angry party of one. Uh, color. <laughs> color. Besides a strange disappearance, I'm not sure why we're here. Is this an X file even? I thought the same thing. You did? At first, I wasn't sure. That's why I pulled the old X file. So you've been fishing for something this whole time? Of course. Where's the fun in guessing? Well, the fun could be working on actual X-Files and actually uncovering the truth. Uh, simply, I think that the boyfriends, maybe they broke up and he got upset and left town. I don't see any evidence to the contrary. You know, the thing about Jack in the Boxes is the faster you turn them, something shows up. You actually have to push it back into the Jack in the Box to make it happen again. What about if that concept was reversed? Reversed? What about if you sped something up so fast you could make something disappear? Well, there is some scientific principle to that, but not on the scale of a Ferris wheel. I'm talking about quantum mechanics, maybe. Of course I'm talking about quantum mechanics. I'm talking about something <laughs> beyond that, a dimensional, a port that could open up. Simple as electricity. All you need is enough power and energy, and you can rip a hole in time and space. And before you know it, you pass back and forth in that. I mean, Tesla had it figured out long before the rest of us. Well, unless this kid comes back and... I'm not even sure if there, is, if there can be any evidence for something like that, so... We'll need to find some proof of that. Or, rather, you will. Oh, a challenge? I don't want to get emotional here, Bailey, but I like a challenge. When do you not want to get emotional? <laughs> May? Nicer to do. Ella, I got a short fuse. I was born with a short fuse, okay? I know, but Duke was born with something short too, and that's his brain. Oh, well, yeah, damn it! <laughs> We're not gonna talk about Duke being short and in the department because he's not. You're not, Duke. I ain't saying it's a bad thing. I love Duke more than anybody. Saying you're being mean to him. You're pushing him too far. Well, but don't push me, okay? Well, maybe somebody Bathroom. has to. Bathroom. Bathroom. All right, there's a we'll stop there right up here. Bathroom. Just take this. Stop. Thank you. You know he picks up on emotions. He picks up on energy. You know that that's what took him there in the first place. <laughs> you remember? Okay. You remember ten years ago? When you got too upset, 
Duke was fine before that. And you got too upset and Duke Are you that. saying it's my fault, Hilda? I'm not saying it's not what you're saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's exactly what you're saying. You're saying it's my fault and it's not. You're God saying it now. Bathroom. Go, Duke, go. Bathroom. Go to the bathroom. I need to cool off. How much longer do you think that they would keep driving? <laughs> How much longer can I keep driving? What do you mean by that? City to city? You know he can't take this much longer. We've got to feed the boy. He can't be sustained on McDonald's. He has right. to eat something a little different. Here's my question. The boy, Duke. What disease did he have? You're the scientist. Well, What'd you see? I would say he's possibly on the spectrum of autism. Um, he definitely has social anxiety, and um, I couldn't just diagnose him here, but perhaps some type of developmental delay. I saw no dilation in the eye to infer that it was autism. Well, I didn't think you would be watching that closely. But perhaps you're right. I also didn't notice anything that caused him to be socially anxiety. Have social anxiety. Okay. I'm getting a little emotional about this. <laughs> I have to tell you, there wasn't anything about that kid that registered as autistic. Well, then, what do you propose, Culver? What do you think? What do you think is wrong with Duke or different about Duke? I think he saw something he didn't want to see. I think he peered into something that peered back at him. I think he saw something beyond all of us. Virginia, 4.45 p.m. Well, we are awful glad to have your Bradbury Ferris wheel over here. Oh, yep, sure. Oh, God, that's a thing of beauty. Sure 
there is. This is an antique. And uh, how soon can we have it up and running for our Geo Festival? Well, uh, my sister and my brother can set it up in eight hours. <laughs> Be ready to run. All right, well, I need it up in four. All right, we can do that too. Sounds about <laughs> right. I guess I'll help out this time. <laughs> Man, it's a beauty. Don't see it on like that anymore. People appreciate us. Appreciate our Ferris wheel, appreciate what we bring. That's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? I took mess everything up. Oh, dude. Well, that's the keystone piece. Oh, shit, in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> No matter which way it turned or however you looked at it, the centrifugal presentation of it. All right, would you're getting all science facts on me. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just put this here thing up in the air. I'm more about physics. Really? <laughs> physics? No, not really. I don't know shit about physics. I just put the thing up. People come and pay to go on it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Time. <laughs> I understand you. And I'm not sure what you want from me. Just trying to figure out exactly if you need help. Something that you thought you had control over has stopped giving you what you wanted it to do. Like helping somebody be who they're supposed to be rather than who they're not supposed to be. What, if you're what do you know about my brother? Huh? What do you know about my family? You don't know nothing. I know that they saw something they weren't supposed to see. I know that he looked into something and it looked back at him yeah, and it changed him. You got one of those new cellular devices? Sorry? <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's just a new. Oh. They're expensive. I work. This is cold. Oh, it's me. Ben. I'm, I'm back in LA. Where are you? <laughs> Don't tell me you went chasing after those those Ferris wheel people. I told you that is a cold lead. Now that would sound like something you would say, Bailey, but I have to tell you, I'm on to something here. So, are you in West Virginia? Is Guilty. Call me. Just come back to L.A. We have another case we need to work on. Bailey, listen, I need you to do me a favor. The X-File that I showed you, 
the day before we left for Pennsylvania. I need you to get that X-File. I need you to look up something for me. Jack in the Box? Under the Jack in the Box. It should be just to the left of it. I tend to not clean up my desk when I leave. All right, well... I, I want you to look up temporal disruption. I need to know if anyone in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, or anyone where along the, the east, uh, east Coast ever had any kind of, uh, some sort of lapse, a mental lapse, caused by an unknown source. Come on, little boy, the bouncy castle's ready. I have to go. Yeah. Can you get it done for me? Yes, I'll, I'll give you a call when I can get <laughs> Dinner's ready. Georgia. 
Nice to meet you. I Hello? Where my clothes went. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're a grown up. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mister. Where are we? I, I'm not really sure. I. I think we're in another dimension. How did you get here? Well, I went into a bounce house, and something kind of <laughs> snapped and attacked me. And the next thing I knew, I was I was here. I was I was on the Ferris wheel. Jack. Uh, Your name's Jack. I, yes. Yes. I think so, but that name is sounding less and less familiar the longer I'm here. I was in a corn maze. <laughs> <laughs> Before you had a harvest festival. <laughs> I was at a Founders Festival, oh. also known as a Harvest Festival. Yes, yes. yes. Pennsylvania, you were in West Virginia? Is that what you said? <laughs> Seems to be fuzzy suddenly. All I know. <laughs> the longer I spend here, the more I want to eat. And I'm not talking about normal food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about people. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it, it happens when people... <clears throat> it happens? <laughs> what? Are you waking up? Wait, go on. It's, no, don't leave us here. I, no, don't leave us here. Leave. It's happening to you too, is it? It happened to you in a corn maze, in a corn maze, in a corn maze, in a corn maze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just off Route 10. You need to, you need to get out to Route 10 over, over at, at Smithfields. Smithfields off of Route 10. Smithfields. I think there's something going on here much, much worse than we, than I first anticipated. Are you all right? Where, where, where is that? What, what am I walking into, Culver? Tell me you're all right. I'm all right for now, but there's been another murder. I think, I think it's, I think it's the brother. Culver. Culver. <laughs> we just gotta get you out of here, dude. Stop! We gotta... Stop, FBI! Oh. Don't tell, tell them anything, all right? Get out! Stay right here, Duke. You don't leave, all right? And you don't say anything. It's peanut m and uh, <laughs> Fleeing the scene of a crime, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you think I'm guilty. Where's your partner? I see your brother in the truck uh, talking about May. <clears throat> well, she's back at the Ferris wheel. And the bounce house? She's got no spinal column. <laughs> <laughs> it's been ripped out of her. What is he? What are you going to do to him? Get him help? I don't think you can. If there had been help, we would have found it before now. You've opened up something. You've done something that's out of your control. You have to let me help you. <laughs> See nothing you can do. Oh no. Why is he so big? <laughs> Duke. <laughs> Duke, you don't have to do this. Hey. Whoa. You 
never should have messed with it. You should have just let us go. I can't let you go. We would have figured it out. He's the key to everything, don't you see? With him, I can prove everything. No, oh, no. Listen. Duke, you ain't helping the pet too already. Duke, you've had two today. Hey, what are you folks doing? Anymore. This is private property. <laughs> I'm calling the police. No, no, no. <laughs> FBI. Special agent. Get Culver, stay back, sir. Do not go near that man. Stop it! Don't go near him! Too much chewing. 
No candy for Halloween for you. <laughs> uh, I believe your partners should in the lobby. I should get them for you. Yes, thank you, Doctor. Uh, Mr. Kickover. <coughs> that looks like it hurts. Yeah. Oh, I did put Duke in a, in a hospital for gifted. Children. <laughs> Seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, no, it's terrifyingly sad. <laughs> Inside the bouncy house, along with 14 other kids. It's incredible. I just... I still don't understand what we gained out of all this. Clearly Duke has some type of multiple personality disorder, where one is Duke who's sweet and reserved, and, and, and the other one has super strength. I just... I hope that he gets the help that he needs. Personally, I think when he looked into the darkness, the darkness looked back at him and took the opportunity to take advantage of innocence. That's why when push came to shove, I think it was Duke who saved my life. Somehow, his spirit pushed through and did the right thing and kept Whatever that was, away from me. Want to go trick or treating? <laughs> <laughs> sure.